4.3 is about green IT, which, as it sounds, is to do with the environment, ecological issues. And in this particular topic, it's to do with global requirements on organizations and individuals. The United Nations Climate Change Summits and now how they affect the use of uh, IT. UK government's own policies, such as the Greening ICT strategy. How organizations can go about reducing their carbon footprint because, well, we all really would like to do more to sort of help the planet for IT to be more sustainable. And it's good for organizations, you know, if they are reducing their own energy costs. And generally, I think a lot of people prefer to buy from a supplier who is, you know, trying to do their bit to save the environment. So it's a good way of enhancing the brand's image if they're obviously able to say, look, you know, we, we don't just provide IT, but we recycle it. We make sure, you know, um, that everything that can be reused is reused and that which can't is dealt with um, in terms of recycling or it's disposed within a way that is safe for, uh, you know, the, the environment. So it's not just dumped in landfill and it's not just left to sort of poison the water supplies and so on. So there are several things to look at here. The first is the, you know, there are some global requirements um, and we all want companies to, you know, regardless of where they are in the world, we all want companies to, and individuals to be sensible with their technology. There are several uh, climate change summits that have happened over the years. The last one was in 2019, and this is where countries get together and they meet and they uh, agree on ways forward to become uh, more environmentally friendly and to try and, um, you know, think about transport and use of IT uh, and and just you know the environment just in general. What can these countries do to uh, make things better uh, and to stop damaging the environment? The UK government has its own policy which links in with the United Nations. Um, quite often, these policies are written off the back of these change summits or contribute to these change summits. So the UK government has their own uh, set of policies known as greening, the greening IT policy. Um, and uh, so you need to know a little bit about what that's about. And the whole concept of all of this is to try and reduce the carbon footprint, your own as an individual and uh, as an organization, as a business, as a tech company, uh, as a government, whatever you know your role is, what are you doing to reduce your own carbon footprint? So if we quickly have a look, these are the headlines from the United Nations Climate Change Summit from 2019. And we can see that 65 countries and the European Union pledged to cut greenhouse gas emissions to zero by the year 2050. And the number of countries that made this pledge reached 77. And if we continue... To uh, read through these headlines, we can see a Climate Ambition Alliance has been created. Uh, there is an organization, High Level Panel for a Sustainable Ocean Economy, that was created, which includes 14 countries. The European Union promised to give a quarter of its budget to climate action in the next year. China has announced it will go through high quality growth and low carbon development and created a partnership with the target of removing 12 billion tons from global greenhouse gas emissions by using natural solutions. Okay, uh, I've got a promise from India there about uh, bringing up their renewable energy capacity by the year 2022. Russia has made some promises. Pakistan has made some pledges. The Central African Forest Initiative uh, has come into being that uh, Pakistan has pledged to restore parts of its degraded ecosystems and El Salvador has committed to protect 10 million hectares of forest. So you can see these are not 
small things. They're quite large and they, they are targeted uh, and they uh, have been kind of agreed on all these countries to start to try and, you know, bring about change for the better in terms of the environment. The Greening IT policy document looks like this. It has 25 pages and it covers things like the production and design of IT equipment from raw materials through manufacturing, assembly, transporting them, and the supply, uh, supply chain, uh, you know, where you get your um, materials uh, from and how you supply them to and from uh, various different people. It covers operations such as management of power, the use of IT to try and, uh, you know, bring down uh, carbon footprints, the cooling of ICT in data centers, and individual uh, behaviors of users not leaving your computers switched on all the time and plugging them when you're um, finished, try and use laptops off batteries so they don't have to be permanently using electricity. It covers things like reusing IT equipment, reclaiming and recycling components, donating computers rather than just throwing them away, refurbishing them if possible, upgrading them and reusing them or selling them on. And it covers disposal removing hazardous parts at recycling centers rather than just throwing them away. And we have laws uh, around the um, disposal of electronic um, and Wi-Fi equipment. So it's, it's ways in which the government are trying to change the way IT is made, used, reused and disposed of in a way that is ecologically friendly. So, uh, a quick question from the exam. It's worth two marks. The booking website that we looked at earlier advertises that a hotel has reduced its carbon footprint and they want you to give some explanation of what is meant by the term reducing your carbon footprint. It's a two mark question. Announcers include uh, two marks for a, a valid explanation or if you, uh, you know, kind of explain something and give an example, that also would, would get you two marks. So it's about the positive impact of organizations or individuals on the environment, okay? It's about reducing greenhouse gases or CO2 by using strategies such as recycling or reusing or reselling or it could just be something simple like turning the lights off when you leave the room unplugging your television before you go to bed, turning off your laptop when you're not using it and so on. So any reasonable suggestion that uh, explains this concept of um, turning off the technology or reusing it or recycling it so that we are reducing our carbon footprint, that would get you some marks as an answer to that question.